Watching the wild swings in the equities markets over the last week can be agonizing for just about any investor, but it may be most bewildering for millennials who've never seen anything like this before. This is the first time many young investors are experiencing the shocks of a volatile market because up until now, we've been riding the second longest bull run in history. So how should millennials cope at times like this when the volatility hits the fan? To discuss this, I'm joined by financial advisor and friend of the program, Shannon Lee Simmons, founder of the New School of Finance and celebrated author. It's nice to see you. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. I, we've been thinking a lot about this, that people that are going through this for their first time that have only ever seen stocks go up, what are you telling those kinds of clients? Yeah, so anyone who's invested, um, especially if you're new to investing, just making sure that you stick to your long-term plan. So if you've got a long-term investment strategy that matches your risk tolerance and your time horizon, you just need to breathe through it and chill a little bit. Right, yeah. and, and you say though there's a difference between panic and fear, because you're yes. bound to be scared. Totally, and that's the thing. So anyone anyone that contacts me, I'm always like very empathetic because it's scary. I even get scared. It's nerve wracking right. when you see your money going up and down. 1100 point drop in a day. Right, and, yeah. and then the media, we, we, we're, right. we're really scared. Um, but panic is different. So panic is when we start to make bad financial decisions, which are totally run by our emotions and have nothing to do with our strategic plan. So part of the job of any advisor, any planner really, is to just keep somebody on their strategic plan and like make sure that they don't hit that like panic button where they're like selling when everything's down right. and all that kind of stuff. What are they telling you? What are those those clients, those investors? What are you hearing from them? Yeah, I think that I think you're absolutely right. This is the first time that there, there's ever been like a downturn mm -hmm. of this magnitude um, for a lot of people. And I think that a lot of them say like, well, maybe you know, is my risk tolerance actually growth oriented? And and you know, am I am I invested properly? So there's a lot of self doubt. And so it comes back to that question of like, okay. Everybody in a bull market has a growth-oriented mentality. And well, it's and it's easy to talk about your risk tolerance Absolutely. in a bull market. That sure, I've taken sure. on the right amount of risk. Everything's going Throw up. Another it's equity only in. when things begin to turn that you yeah. can really test that. Yeah, and I think that this is actually from a perspective shift. This is a good time for everybody to kind of take stock. Like, am I? Is my risk tolerance actually, you know, growth oriented, or maybe I maybe I should have been more conservative, or maybe this is accurate for me, and I just need to like feel that fear for the first time and right. and wait for that bounce back, so that you know how it feels to watch your money go down and to watch it come back up, so you have faith in the markets overall. And how much of this though is a question of financial and market literacy and understanding that. A, a correction, even yeah. what we're seeing right now, this is healthy, it's good for markets, so they yeah. can let off some of that steam, so it's not an enormous Black Friday kind of drop like we've seen in the past. Yeah, I think it's 100% literacy. So, um, But it's one thing to see that on a chart, and it's another thing to feel it when you like right. open up your statement and you see it going down. So I tell people, take it off your phone, take the app off your phone right. if you're freaking out and you're <laughs> right. checking it all the time. It's the equivalent of like, don't open the mail, um, because if you believe in the plan and you know that it's, it is you, then getting caught up on the daily grind of like, what's your money worth today versus tomorrow, is not per it's not helpful for anything. It's not productive. It's just freaking you out more. So you might want to take but, it But, I, I mean, you go back and you look at it. The thing I was talking a lot about in the midst of that is, yes, we saw a 1,600-point intraday drop, and yes, we saw a 10% correction yeah. off the highs in both the S&P and the Dow. But if you go back a year, you know, we were celebrating and we were euphoric over 20,000 on the Dow. It's still up at 24 and change. I know. It's like we have seen solid returns over a year. Yeah. So everybody has been freaking out to me. I've said, sure, that's great. I understand why. Zoom out. Take a broader look. Yeah. It's not as bad as it looks when you look at it over a year. Absolutely. And even zoom out even further from that and look at historically what's happened. And that's that perspective shift that can help you be like, this is normal. Right. And everything's going to be okay over the long well, run. Well, it's healthy. It's healthy, it's normal, it's just, it's different when you feel it for the first time versus knowing something versus right. feeling something. Uh, we're coming up into RSP season. I've heard from people who are like, I don't know, should I do it now? Yeah. I imagine you've just been flooded with those calls. What's yeah, your answer to that? Yeah, and that's a, that's a bummer. So for some people who maybe this was their first time that they were gonna invest and they were like stoked about taking that <laughs> plunge, um, and then all this market volatility happens, they might be second guessing that. And to those people, I would say, you should carry on business as usual if you have that long-term plan. I keep saying it again and again, it's so important that you believe in, then it shouldn't matter what the markets were today, tomorrow, a week from now. Right. It's a long-term plan. So don't get caught up in the weeds of what's happening right now. Um, and actually, this might be a good time to jump in and learn a lot about yourself and what kind of investor you actually are and what that risk tolerance is. Well, and they say, buy the dips, right? Ride the lightning. There you go. Uh, great <laughs> to see you. Thank you for this perspective. It's really important to get. Thanks. Shannon Lee Simmons, financial planner and founder of the New School of Finance.